Hey, what's going on? Uh, your boy Chili, the sideline blog. I am going to take in a freshman game. I'm headed out to Horizon right now to go check out this stud running back, Brian Bagardis. Watch some of his huddle. Kid's really tough, so I'm gonna go check him out. Versus uh, Jake Smith's little brother, Gavin Smith. I'm super excited, man. This kid, Gavin Smith, is some sort of freak freshman athlete. Both these kids, 2022 kids. And I also want to see what's going on with Jake Smith and talk about this undefeated Notre Dame team a little bit. So I'm making my way out to North Scottsdale, so stay tuned, your boy Chili. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know which games I got to check out. Also, hit that like button, smash that like button, that thumbs up. And yeah, make sure that you subscribe, just Chili.tv and ArizonaVarsity.com. out the horizon for the freshman game. I am super excited. Uh, Brian Bogardis versus uh, Gavin Smith. This game is going to be as exciting as I think it can get. Alright, so at the end of the first quarter, the score is 15 to 7. Horizon freshmen are winning. Uh, Brian Bogardis is everything that Cole Fisher told me that he would be. And I'm gonna catch up with Cole Fisher in about two seconds. I'm just waiting to see if Gavin Smith can get loose and see what can happen the rest of the way. We'll be right back at halftime, but let's catch up with Cole Fisher real quick. This kid, Bogardis, is everything that you said he was. Um, how, how, did you, how did you come about that relationship? So, uh, me and my dad kind of coached over at Scottsdale Christian. We coached the uh, middle school team, you know, so I've known him since he's a seventh and eighth grader, and I knew from when I saw him play, I mean, he is unreal. He's a real deal. Uh, your alma mater, they're rolling at 7-0 and right now. Uh, looking amazing on offense. Uh, the defense is playing lights out, Lockenkar and uh, Butt, and all those guys, they replaced nine starters on defense. What's it been like going back to watch some games? It's cool, man. It's, it's fun to see uh, teams try to stop Jake, and they can't do it. I mean, he still terrorizes every single team, and it's really fun. If you guys get a chance to watch Brock Lockenkar, that dude is an animal. That's someone Division One coach is going to want to have on their team. Oh, because you're becoming like a scout nowadays. Cause I, hey, you hit it big with Bogardis. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, this kid looks like he could be a pull-up kid. I expect to see him probably suiting up on varsity late in the season. What are some things that you think that he does really, really well? He runs the ball hard. I mean, they're, it's going to take three, four Not dudes unlike yourself. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to take three to four dudes and chase him down and, or uh, tackle him. And, I mean, he's he's running a 4-6 right 14, now as a freshman. Murray. I mean, you're not, once he's gone, you're not going to catch him. His vision's real good, too. He's got great vision. What are some things that you think that he needs to work on? I think he needs to loosen up. I think he's... Uh, he runs a little upright sometimes. Yeah, I think he's just worried about... He's thinking about too much. Once he gets playing more and gets fluent, he'll loosen up, and then that'll be scary. Scary sight. Curtis, hey, hey, that's the kid that I fully project. After watching him for a quarter, a little bit more than a quarter, like I fully see that this kid could easily be like a 1,000-yard guy, maybe a 1,500-yard guy oh, yeah. in the near future, junior, senior year, and stuff like that. But he also doubles as a linebacker, so we'll see where his talents end yeah. up taking him. All right, so here at halftime, the score is 23 to 15. Notre Dame is leading. The Notre Dame freshman squad is uh, holding it down. And uh, at some point here, I'm gonna try to catch up with uh, Jake Smith and Dominic Mastro. A few moments later. And uh, I don't disappoint anybody. I got the superstar right here. Mr. Should be five star, because I don't think they gave that to you yet. Not yet. We're gonna work on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some calls. A lot of people are surprised that you're seven and zero. Like, what's contributed to that besides your uh, 333 touchdowns? We just have a great core again this year. I got our starting H back, Dominic 
Mastro standing next to me, and he's been doing great, been balling out. Our offensive line is young, but they're uh, improving by the day. Jake Farrell's doing a great job and has really stepped up and matured as a QB. So we have a young core, and our defense is all young too. So they're they're young bucks who are who are hungry and they're they're getting to hang. Again. Talk to me about some of those guys, especially like Lochnikar. Uh, he's a kid that kind of came out of nowhere. You guys are replacing nine on defense, and a lot of people are stunned that you guys are even in these games, let alone seven and zero. Brock Lochnikar is no question the uh, biggest biggest contributor to our defense, and he's just a straight up psychopath. He's uh, he's like the number. I think one. Division One talent. I do too. I do too. He's not, up, you know, the prototypical yeah, size for a linebacker, but this kid is a straight up psych in the best way possible. <laughs> yeah. Number one MMA fighter in the country for his age group. His uh, work ethic is unmatched and his motor is nonstop. So we're taking in this 2022 game. Uh, obviously, you have a little brother on this team. Uh, what, what are some things that you really like that your brother does? Because every everybody's gonna try to make that comparison, but I think it's really different. You know, I don't think he's quite as fast as me. I think he's fast, but he does a lot of little things better than I did as a freshman, and um, you know, probably still better than I do now. Um, he kind of has a bounce in his step and just a shiftiness that I haven't really been able to, you know. I mean, I think I have shiftiness, but his moves. You're getting there. His moves. You're getting there. Like, he has the moves is what I'm trying to say. So he's just an elusive kid who does a great job of making people miss. Uh, besides speed, what kind of things do you want to see him work on uh, as he progresses and grows? I want to see him work on uh, receiving and catching the ball because that's kind of how I got to where I am. Not only running the ball, he's good at that, but um, if he works on his route running and uh, you know his his first start, um, I think he can be a great receiver. I know music is big right now, and everybody's talking about these two albums, Logic, uh, Lil Wayne, The Carter Five. Uh, have you had a chance to listen to them? I have. Uh, not so much Logic's album, but nobody's Carter. listening. Hey, I swear, <laughs> everybody's sleeping on Logic's album. Uh, he has a song on there, Wu Tang Forever, with all the dudes from Wu Tang Clan. Absolute, like, might be the hottest song between the two albums. Okay, I might, I'll have to listen to it then. But uh, the Carter Five is a classic for sure. Uh, Wheezy never disappoints. We're gonna check back in with Jake Smith a little bit later. Uh, talk about some uh, good old Texas barbecue because I keep hearing that it's better in Oklahoma. Don't know who oh, told yeah. me that. Oh yeah. The Carter Five's biggest fans right here. <laughs> For sure. Everybody. Everybody. Why are you so hated? Why didn't you give him like your pad so that he could have the Supreme Bowl? I didn't get this. I didn't get the shoes though. That was or the trainer. 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 I think Cole Fisher would hate him. <laughs> Got the cool Supreme sticker on the back plate and you don't even share it with the guy that feeds you. It wasn't my choice. It wasn't my choice. Greatest lies told on the vlog. Joe, you gotta hook him up. More moments later. Close to 800 yards rushing, five touchdowns. Uh, what's the experience been like this season? Oh man, it's been great. Our O line, especially, man. Young, but you definitely got the ability to handle it, man. Appreciate it. A lot of people were wondering, you know, who's going to fill Cole Fisher's spot? And you seem to kind of step right in and um, fill the void. Uh, what's Pre Lock had to say about that? Uh, He's got to be happy. I mean, he's gotta be happy. Talk, talk to me about uh, some of the things that Cole uh, passed on. Vision, vision and be patient, that's for sure. And talk to me about some of these 2022 kids. Uh, rumor has it that you have a brother on the team. Yeah, yeah, I have a brother on the team. He's a D tackle. Now being a running back, you have to run through a lot of D tackles. Um, what, what are some things that he does really, really well that you like? Uh, he has lower body mass, he keeps his pad level low. Uh, he hits hard, he hits hard. I've gone against him once and I mean, I wouldn't want to go against him as a freshman, that's for sure. What are some things that you think he has to work on as he progresses and tries to make his way up to varsity? Mobility, footwork, uh, and just lifting and gaining weight. Yeah, that's about it. And he steals all the food at Thanksgiving, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are your favorite tracks on the Carter Five? Used to 
Mona Lisa. Those are, those are the top two right He actually now. does Don't listen. Cry. Don't cry. Go back. Uh, dude, X sounds terrible. Man. <laughs> X sounds terrible. No. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah. So, your brother, I feel like, you know, based on size and stuff right now, and he's only a freshman, I feel like he's gonna be like a lockup corner, but the way he plays the game, it's like he wants to be the next, like, Tyron Matthew, the next Honey Badger, which yeah. you are nothing like. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, way better defensively than I am and that I was as a freshman. Um, he's super I, aggressive, he wants contact, yeah. where like you like to run away from people. <laughs> exactly, he's, he's. Cole, am I right? Cole, am I, am I right? Am I right? He's in on every play and uh, loves to hit, loves to be physical. I started on defense my freshman year and think I had a total of like 12 tackles. So he, uh, and for his career, he has 12 tackles. <laughs> he's definitely better defensively than I am for sure. And I think that might be his, uh, his future. His own all right, so the final score here from Horizon is uh, Horizon wins its freshman game, the 2022 game, 42 to 30. But I'm just curious, is this the time where Big Brother has to come in and the varsity guys got to go get that dub on Friday night? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll be here Friday night, um, you know, getting a dub. Getting that dub. All right, man, tough loss to Horizon, 42 to 30. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised. Uh, you look like you're a better defender. Is is that where you want to be on defense? I like defense a lot. I also love offense, though. Hey, I saw you making a couple runs, a couple nice touchdowns and stuff. Uh, what is it out there that you saw? My line did great. They uh, helped me out a lot. I couldn't do it without them. You know, wide receivers blocked well. And I know you're making the transition from eighth grade to your freshman year. What are some of your favorite classes? I really like uh, science. What about your science class? I what, like what? all the experiments. Uh, you want to blow things up. I like I want to blow things up. Like running backs and stuff yeah. like that. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Hey man, you, hey, like like we already said, your boy is, is the truth. Uh, Bogardus is uh, super special as a running back, and nobody's gonna know running back better than you are. How good do you think he is for this class of 2022? He'll be the best running back for 22. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs>